Hey everybody, I'm dead! Yay! Um, it's Alex. Uh, anyway, it's been a crazy couple of days. Um, I've taken <clears throat> a little bit of a trip, so I'm in Auckland right now. I spent the day here, and last time I was here, I don't know if you guys remember, it was like eight months ago. It's been ages. Anyway, uh, I wasn't really in the best of places. So I didn't really explore today. I, I walked everywhere. I hurt so much. I walked for like 10 hours today. I am so freaking tired. Um, it was good. And then I went to the museum. I love museums. Anybody doesn't know, I have actually have a world trip planned just for museums. And then like another one planned for historical monuments. And then another one planned for like other things. And then I've got individual country trips. And yeah, I really like museums. <laughs> um, so I plan on going to a museum and tomorrow I'm going to meet my friend in Hamilton we're going to hang out and it's going to be good. Yeah, so I saw all these really cool things and they had a Spitfire and I could take pictures of the Spitfire um, and a lot of uh, history of New Zealand which was cool because um, it's different than um, Te Papa which is in Wellington and um, yeah so it was good and I uh, oh there's this, so, the, so there's this um, graveyard that's on a hill um, and then there's a gorge and then um, so I was going through this and there's a bridge that goes through the cemetery because originally um, across the way was the hospital and they put it on the outskirts of town across the gorge because a case of quarantine was needed. Um, so anyway, it, they only had to move five um, headstones and re reassign people and it took them two years to build this thing so that's pretty good considering it was like built on a hill and it's all like clay and stuff. So yeah, it was really cool and it was all built in 1910 so like a hundred years ago. <laughs> And um, they had to revamp this this bridge. It's an arched bridge, double arched bridge. Um, Griffith Bridge, Griffin Bridge, Grifton, Grifton Bridge. That's it. Anyway, um, and then in two thousand and nine, they into the pillars. They put some steel reinforcements to make it earthquake safe. Cause earthquakes. So since I've been in New Zealand, I've felt five earthquakes. Um, the worst was when I was in Christchurch, and the whole house shook. That freaked me out. Cause it was like a, you forget like feel like that you're falling when you're asleep and then you get jerked awake. The first one kind of felt like that, but I was awake. And so I jumped out of my seat and was like, what the fuck's going on? And then the whole house shook really hard. And I was like, oh, okay, it's an earthquake. And then it was over. It was less, it was like 10 seconds. It wasn't even that long. Like, it was just an earthquake. Um, and then I felt a couple while I was in Wellington. Um, but at this the museum, it's got all things about volcanoes. Because fun fact, um, Auckland is situated on and surrounding 15 volcanoes. So if one erupts, they're all gonna go. And we watched this thing about what happens if a, if a volcano erupts and you don't leave the city. Um, if the smoke, if, you, if it starts to do the ash cloud, you're dead, because it goes at about 150 kilometers an hour, so there's no way you can get out safely. So, good thing that's not happening. Yay! Anyway, so... Oh, I got this pamphlet about, because they do this whole, like, when you insure your house, because most, you know, everybody insures their house. Um, earthquake and stuff is covered and um, this is a land on fire ah! um, it's very exciting because it's all about the volcanoes in New Zealand and like what type of insurance you're covered and so if you have fire insurance in Auckland you're covered under volcano stuff too because um, they originally left it up for people to pay for their insurance um, separately but a lot of places didn't insure for an earthquake and stuff and then a whole bunch of people when the Hawks Bay earthquake happened um, lost their homes like half of Hawks Bay Hawks Bay well, yeah, it's in the Hawks Bay area and so they were just like nope you're just if you insure your house at all it's insured under this everybody has insurance because it just makes it easier to claim stuff and not have to argue about it um, it's under the earthquake prevention people and the earthquake proof well earthquake safe buildings and like in Wellington especially because the um, I didn't know this, the equator runs like literally right through the country and right through Wellington um, and Christchurch. But that's a different, that's, anyway, there's like three tectonic plates touching in New Zealand because it's super fun times. Um, anyway, not what I was going to say. Lost my train of thought. Oh, um, so the earthquake's safe, so they're good. Um, the building actually moves during an earthquake. So you still feel the earthquake, but nothing... It, it moves safely, so like the parliament buildings have these big things so that the actual building itself can shake and it moves up to six or seven inches in either direction, so it does this when the earthquake happens instead of it being a solid building and the earth just moving. 
Um, and it's good up to a 7.2 on the Richter scale, 7.5, something like that, which is double what it, the one in Christchurch was, which was, so it was like a three point something, or, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's all really cool, and they're like, if you ever want to study earthquakes, New Zealand is like the place to do it for an English speaker. If you speak Japanese, go to Japan. Like, it's really, really cool, and they have all this technology, and there's like a whole division dedicated at, at University of Victoria, um, in Wellington. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye!